Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greedley News. Thank you for joining me. Late last night at about 11.16 Pacific Time, there was a magnitude 3.9 earthquake there in the Bay Area of California uh, near Morgan Hill. 3,644 people reported feeling this earthquake. Using Google Earth, you can see the earthquake here and Morgan Hill there. More than likely it was along or close to the Calaveras fault line, which earlier last year was having a number of earthquakes because of the pressure that's been building from the tectonic plates. And I covered that last oh, beginning middle of last year. August of last year there was a magnitude 2.5 near the San Francisco Zoo. And let me pull this up. A magnitude 4.5. Uh, that was October 15th. Then about three hours later at about 2.13 a.m. Pacific Time, there was a magnitude 4.0 off the coast of Southern California, down there by Los Angeles. Interesting, the 4.0 shows uplift. The first wave of the earthquake, yes, yeah, straight up. And tension was applied going towards the south. On the felt report, there was reports all the way to Bakersfield, Barcelona, and San Diego. Now the moment tensor ball for the 3.9 came in from the north. Tension was applied going west. We got spreading of the fault line. A slight dipping. You can see here very slight. Uh, going uh, to the right and down which would be east and south. Both these areas are overdue, more so Southern California, overdue for a very large earthquake. Southern California is actually about 350 years overdue for a large earthquake. But as for the Bay Area of California, now I've covered the uh, Calaveras Fault, how that pressure has been building, and a magnitude 6 or 7 earthquake could probably shake for at least 3 minutes. You know, often they talk about the magnitude of the earthquake, but they don't mention about how long they would last. The longer the earthquake uh, would last, there would be more damage to high-rise buildings. Testimonies for the 3.9 there in the Bay Area on EMSC said pretty long rumbling and rumbling in Morgan Hill above Lake Sanderson. I don't know if that's a misspell or what came and left the Christmas tree was shaking my house was shaking we're living in Morgan Hill uh, nearby Henry West Co State Mountain another post says weird rumble right before the heavy jolt felt like a head rush then the rumble was going then boom funky this one about nine kilometers away from the center it says felt slightly heavy and whirring jolt objects started shaking started shaking I could hear the walls creak keep in mind I was just nine kilometers from the fault line so that's about five and a half miles from where the earthquake occurred now they must have downgraded this earthquake because it says here felt like a slip fault felt stronger than a 4.1 automatic by the computer have a 4 4.11 4.44 4.49 4.44 4.25 4 a lot of fours. Yeah, I would say they downgraded this earthquake. Same with the earthquake in Southern California. That was probably downgraded too. We got a 4.18, 4.49, 4 4.48, 4.62. Yeah, a lot of fours again. Yeah, often when they don't get a lot of reports from people, and only about 10% of people report feeling earthquakes. They tend to downgrade them, 4.60, 4.37, 4.55, 4 another 4.64. Yeah, look at all the, the 4s that are above the 4.0 that they claim it was. So did you feel either of these earthquakes? If so, put your comment down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.